Hi there, everyone. I'm Greg D. Another edition of Greg's Geek Fix. I'm looking for a replacement for my Lost Note 7. And what I've got here now is the LG V20, one you may not have really thought about. Uh, LG's kind of flying under the radar, but they're really making some amazing devices. So uh, their technically best or most popular phone should be the LG G5, but then they came out with this V line, and these phones are serious phones. They're kind of what the Note series is for Samsung. The LG G5 is more like the Galaxy S7 and 7 Edge. So this is an all metal phone, and unlike the Samsung devices, this one, I can get it to, to do it, actually opens up and you actually have a removable battery inside as well as expandable memory. That's something you can't get from Samsung devices. Nice metal cover on the back too. This thing slides on tight and it's very well designed. Remote control for your TV. Yep, it's also located on the back. They still kept this feature. I kind of like it. I've used it a couple times before. Uh, of course, USB-C, one big speaker on the bottom as well. Uh, very clean design and a big 5.7 inch screen. This thing uh, truly is a big phone and it really is a quality phone. Now, one of the things that really makes this phone different is this little screen, and I don't know if you can see it on my uh, review copy here, at the top of the phone. And I can actually take this screen and slide it across, swipe it, and get additional features. Now, those features could be anything from playing and controlling your music, maybe a shortcut for turning on the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, muting the phone or maybe even capturing what's on the screen to app shortcuts that you can launch while the main screen is on or better yet, when the main screen is actually off. So you can actually take this phone and do things with it without actually turning on the main screen. That may save you battery, battery uh, power at times. And this thing has gotten pretty good battery life for me as I've been using it. In another interesting feature on this thing, take a look at the back. There are two cameras located on the back of this phone. Uh, one of them is the normal lens camera. It's just a regular lens, takes really good regular pictures. The second camera is the wide angle lens. It takes 135 degree field of view images and they really do show a whole lot more. The normal lens, 16 megapixels. The wide angle lens, 8 megapixels. And a fingerprint sensor on the back. Uh, the Pixel had this as well. I've actually got it next to me so I'll pull them both out. I actually prefer this design with the fingerprint sensor on the back of the phone. When you're putting this thing in your pocket, Basically, you put it in your pocket, your finger, your index finger just naturally falls on the back of this phone right where the fingerprint sensor is and it's already unlocked and waiting for you when you bring it up to, to, to your eyes. It really is a big saver, especially when you're reaching for your phone several times in one day. Night photos, no problem. This thing can handle it. Take a look at this image uh, right there at North Coast uh, uh, Harbor there. This is the Cleveland sign overlooking the skyline. Good exposure. Unlike the Pixel, which uses software, this has actual physical optical image stabilization. And it does work, not just for photos, but also for videos. I don't have a video sample for you, but I gotta tell you, video is amazing. 4K video, well stabilized, and this is the first phone on the market that actually has hi-fi sound. This thing takes high definition, lossless quality sound with three special mics, 24-bit audio. Its audio port also can drive high quality headphones with more power than a regular phone. So for those of you, the audiophiles that really require high quality sound, this is the phone for you. It really is any, for anyone that produces media. And unlike the Pixel, this phone, though expensive, depending on where you get it, 650 to over $700, it is available on all carriers. It also comes with 64 gigabytes of storage versus the base 32 for the Pixel. I gotta tell you, two things that win me over with this phone, the larger screen and the wide angle lens on the back, this may be the phone that I use to replace the Note 7. If you haven't seen the Pixel review, you can check it out right here on my YouTube channel. Uh, just search through my videos. Thanks for joining me for this Geek Fix.